Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This is the Redbeard Grind, and I'm Redbeard. I'm a full-time eBay reseller, and I make videos about what I sold the day before. Yesterday was July 2nd for me. You'll be viewing this at a different time. Um, but yeah, the, we're in the summer slump. Sales are not that great, but I'm going to show you some good stuff. I got I had some good sales on, the, on eBay and Poshmark, so I'm going to go over it fast. I'm in holiday mode. I hope you are too, and uh, getting ready to celebrate July 4th. So let's do this. I had 11 cells and I did 335 bucks yesterday. I think eBay or uh, Poshmark helped me, helped me out a little bit though. Um, all right, we'll go top to bottom. I'm not gonna go over all these. I'm just gonna go fast, show you some things that you can go find, make some money with. All right, vintage Polo Ralph Lauren shirts. This is the blue and the silver tag. Um, these typically go for the like high teens, low 20s. And I sold this one for $31.38 because of the size. If you can find them in this size, they'll go for more money. And it's also because of the polka dot. It was a cool pattern. Uh, that helps. But I even buy these when they're just plain colors. Uh, the 3XBs and the bigger ones and sell them for at least $25 to $35 range. This one's been setting since April, uh, but it finally moved for me for 10% off. So don't pass those things up. These are everywhere. The, uh, the blue and silver tags are everywhere. This is what it looks like. That's your blue and silver tag. I would say just go 3XB and bigger, and if it's in good shape, uh, comp it if you're not comfortable with it, and then post it. Make some money. All right, let's get into number two. This, this brand you can sell for more money, and I sold it for. I just let it go because I was wanting to get the sell, uh, but this is uh, Bather Swim Trunks. I don't know if it's Bather or Bather, but this is their tag on the inside. That's what you're looking for right there. And let's see what else can I show you. This is their little logo on the outside. It's just a really cool pattern. Uh, the swim trucks are a really cool pattern with the dragon on there. Uh, but I took an offer and my store is, I guess I'm running a 10% sell right now. I don't, I don't remember when that ends and my mouse is not working. I'm out of town, so I, I'm uh, just kind of barely rigged up here. Uh, so yeah, this is a decent brand. When I comped it, the sell through rate was good and it was selling for a decent amount of money. And you buy these swimsuits for $4.99 at Goodwill. Uh, or Salvation Army. Uh, you can get them cheaper at Salvation, like at 50% off. Uh, and I listed this June 4th, so it went fast. So keep an eye out for that brand. It will move in the summertime. I wouldn't buy it any other time. All right, Cool Revolver Pants. Cool's a good, a good bread and butter brand for me. I prefer the pants and the shorts. The pants do better. Uh, these went for 30 bucks. I bought them for $7.99 from Goodwill. Listed them June 12th. And they have all kinds of different pants and all kinds of different names. Uh, to get the name typically on the pants, it's going to be inside the pocket. You just get revolver right there. And that gives you all the keywords and all the information. You look at all these keywords that you could use um, and the name of the pants. And then on the shorts, if the shorts don't have the name inside, you can go up to, I think, one of these very back tags. I can't remember which one. Like It's going to be behind that tag right there. Um, and there's going to be a style number sometimes, but not all the time. But if you're going to get a style number, just put that in eBay in quotation marks with the word cool, and you'll find out what type of shorts you have. And that, that keyword, the name of what, what item you have is going to help you sell it, help you sell this brand faster and for more money. All right, let's keep rocking and rolling. Uh, Tommy Bahama Island zone coconut shirts. This one went for 29 bucks. It's a 3XB, and this was used. I bought this for, I think, $5.99, $6.99 from Goodwill, and it went fast. I just listed this thing. Let's see. I listed it June 28th, and it's out of here for 30 bucks. So Tommy Bahama is a good bread and butter brand, and then occasionally you find stuff that goes for a lot of money. I'm trying to bear with me as I get my mouse to work. But this is what you're looking for, the Coconut Point. I don't find that that often. You know, there's Tommy Bahama out there everywhere, which usually goes for like $15 to $20 range, but stuff like this can go up to in the 30s and the 40s. So keep an eye out for that. And this is, I'll show you what it's made of, hold on. Let's see, this is 3XLB made of Tencel and Coolmax. And keywords, Hawaiian, Coolmax. You definitely want Coconut Point in your title. And let's go to the next thing, let's see. Another Tommy Bahama. This is linen. And this one went for 26 bucks. I bought this for $5.99 from Goodwill. 
this is just a plain linen shirt, but linen will sell right now. If you can find linen and it's Tommy Bahama, I'd say just buy it. Even the long sleeve stuff sells right now for about the $25 to $30 range. And this one went for 10% off. I just listed this not too long ago, June 28th. And let me show you the tag. Nothing special about this one, just a normal tag. 3XLB, probably the same guy owned this one as the, uh, the other shirt. And the same, one guy bought both of these, so they, they both went together, which is awesome. All right, what else have we got? Let's see. I'll do the panhandle, and then I'm going to jump over to Poshmark. If you're still here, I appreciate it. I know it's the holiday season. Hopefully, you're, you're floating in a tube down a river somewhere instead of watching this. But if you're here, I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button. Give me the thumbs up. Uh, let's see. What else? Okay. Panhandle Slim Pearl Snap. This one did not have the tag in it. So I just guessed that it was Panhandle Slim. Actually, I was guessing Wrangler, but uh, Air Force Bro kind of, I think, uh, schooled me. And in, in, uh, I think this is Panhandle Slim. Let me know if I'm right or wrong on that, Air Force. Uh, so I sold this one too. This is the second one that sold. And this one went for 24 bucks. It went fast. I just listed it uh, June 28th. And when you see a design like this or a pattern like this, you can't pass it up. You got you to gotta comp it. And uh, I knew that this was either Wrangler or Panhandle Slim. And I, I think it is a Panhandle Slim. And this one went for 25 bucks. I could have got more for that. I could have let it set. But I, I got a pretty decent offer and just let it go. It's out of here. All right. That's it for eBay. There's some other sells, but really nothing to... Lululemon is good. It wasn't, I guess it wasn't too bad of a day. It just didn't sell many items. All right, so Poshmark on June, July 2nd, I sold, I want to show you this one, CC Filson. This went for 35 bucks. Uh, let me show you the tag. I'm not real familiar with CC Filson. I know that people go crazy about this brand, but I don't know what the great stuff is or the good stuff is to get for this brand. But this one particular shirt, which is just a plaid shirt, uh, nothing special about it that I know of. Uh, sold for 35 bucks. And I don't remember when I listed this. I think it's been setting for a while because um, it it's not fresh on my memory. So keep an eye out for that. That's the tag. This is what the shirt looks like. CC Filson. Some of the CC Filson stuff can go for a lot of money. I just usually find the stuff that doesn't go for a lot of money. All right. Armani Exchange. This, this brand and the jeans at least. I've always done pretty well with. I can usually move this stuff for in a thirty, like thirty dollars or more, and it doesn't really set for that long. And again, I don't remember when I listed these. It's been listed for at least a month, I think, maybe a little bit more. But there's AX. That's what you're looking for. Armani Exchange. And let's see how else can you identify it. There's Armani Exchange right there, and their little. Here, I got a better picture of it. Right there, AX. If you see that, just comp it and see if it's moving or not. I don't know if this had a style. Let's see. Made in the USA, that's a plus, 32 short. If you can get a style, the type, you know, put a style on there, um, that will help you move it faster. I just put straight leg distress. I didn't really have a style name or anything. And then the last one, Grayson. This is a, this is a good brand uh, for me so far. The, the golfers love to buy this brand. I did buy this new, I paid up for it at, um, Ross or TJ Maxx. It's one of those two. I paid 29 bucks for this thing, but I sold it for 60 or 59, $59. Um, this particular pattern uh, had a great sell through rate. So if you can find stuff like this at Goodwill, definitely look into picking it up. Let me show you the, the tag. It's Grayson. I, and I find Grayson occasionally at Salvation Army and Goodwill and always sell those for like 25 to $35 range. Um, at a, and I buy them for 499. So, the profit margin's really good on this one. I wanted to show you, I think there's a Wolf logo on the back there. And you sometimes, not all the shirts will have this, but this one had it. Um, I think the cheaper stuff, like the Costco stuff, doesn't always have this. I don't know. Um, I think Air Force Bro, you were buying some of this from Costco. If it has this logo on it, this uh, Wolf logo, let me know. Um, or if it doesn't, let me know. All right, that's it. That's all I got, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. Get back onto my vacation. I'm at, I'm just right off the Frio River, and I'm gonna have some fun. I hope you guys have fun. I hope you have a wonderful Fourth of July, and I'll spit out another video after today. See ya.